speaking of calling, let's get on the phone. James has called in from Kentucky. Hey, James. Hello, how are you? Good. What do you want to know? A uh, little different uh, situation. I've been in business uh, since I was 22 years old, manufacturing. Recent, I'm 65 now. Recently sold my manufacturing company uh, on a uh, uh, contract engagement with the company that bought me for a couple of years. And then, and then I'm off to retirement land. But uh, <laughs> I was trying to figure we out what to do. We all doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was trying to figure out what to do in my retirement, and I came up with the idea of uh, painting, uh -huh. uh, a challenge. And... Uh, so I've started painting, um, make it short, uh, uh, a couple of my things have gotten out. Uh, a uh, TV auction company, Fine Art, has picked me up, and they're, they're selling oh. everything I produce. And they're selling quite royal, but um, it's very limited exposure. Right. And I'm trying to figure out how to get better exposure. Um, and, uh, you know, I've got a website, uh -huh. JamesKessingerOriginals.com. But, you know, unless you know the exact name of it, you'll never find it. <laughs> what is it again? Well, say it because you're on TV, so say it again. Take the free publicity. Okay, yeah, jameskessingeroriginal.com. Yeah. Okay. James, okay. funny enough, and please don't hang up, Jonas's parents are professional artists. That's what they do for a living. Oh, so, really? Yeah. They, and they have been for 40 some odd years and they have made a very nice living at it but go ahead what do you do you have advice for james on getting his name up go back to manufacturing no <laughs> no they made a really nice he, well, really okay, nice is it, living art, is it abstract art is it paint is it oil paintings is it something that takes a long time to do or something commercial that can be licensed that you want to sell cheaply and in like a in a quantity type of situation what type of art is it well it is oil painting mm -hmm. uh, um i uh one little caveat, I, I'm blind, mm -hmm. okay, and uh, I have macular degeneration, uh -huh. just have a little peripheral vision. Right. So, uh, the, right now, I'm being touted as having, kind of embarrassing, but uh, having um, the ability to be, or am, one of the top three living abstract artists uh, now, now alive. James, it's an incredible story. I think that you, you, your story in and of itself is inspirational and and is a, a great, you know, is a jumping, great jumping off point for selling your art. But go ahead really quickly, Jonas. Art's a tough business. I think that's actually a selling point. If I mean, I don't want to say that you have to do that, but that, that in the art world, people kind of like stories like that with some young girl painted like Picasso. The art wasn't even that good, but she was like eight, so everyone thought it was wonderful. And at the time, it was a big hot seller through galleries and stuff. Uh, there's the gallery distribution chain where you want to get into galleries. There's two kinds of galleries. There's like picture frame type galleries and like fancy Soho, New York, you know, $40,000 art type galleries. There are art shows you can go to, but you would probably need someone to, to do that for you. That's kind of a pain It's for retirement because you're basically, it's like going to what fairs, essentially art fairs. Uh, there are lots of art-related internet sites today um, mm -hmm. where, where you sell stuff right. on commission, but there's a lot of competition there and a lot of different stuff in reproductions. There's licensing where you try to get the art on calendars and all that. That's actually where most artists can make the most money if they have success. There's distribution through posters and prints. There's companies that do everything for you and just give you money. They handle all right. the marketing. You get a very small cut, but if it's a high-volume kind of art that people like and they can sell mil you know, hundreds of thousands of posters, you can do well there, too. But it's a tough business. A lot of people want to be artists and not a lot of buyers, especially in a recession. It's a tough business in a recession. If, Danny, if he's doing very unique, specific oil paintings. Yep. He's got to get as much bang for his buck as he can for each piece of art he sells. Yeah, you know, James, you're the real business hero here. You're the type of person that we love to, to hear the story of because it's so inspirational and empowering for other people. And I think that your personal story and your success in business and, and your, you know, what you're doing now uh, with your own situation is so vital and important to get out there that a lot of press in your, your area might be interested in this story and, um, and, and what you're doing with it because it will inspire others. So I would, hit, I would do things like hit art fairs and community events, do things grassroots in your, in your local community that will build awareness of what you're doing and about your business. I would make sure that you can sell your, your work on the internet site and not just have it be a site out there. Uh, James, do not hang up because we're going to get your name and your phone number when we go to a break and we're going to have you on the show, okay? Thank you. We will have you on. We will cool. make it happen. 
and we will get people here to give you advice on how to better market this. You know, we will get people from the art world on the show. So please don't hang up, okay? Thank you. It was great to hear from you. I can't I wait to I appreciate your time. Yeah, I can't wait to see your work. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. I love that. Don't you? <laughs> Doesn't it make you smile? Beautiful, yeah. All right, let's take a quick break, everybody. We're just going to take a breath, come back with some final thoughts. Just think about James and what he's doing, and we'll be right back. Mm -hmm.